Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Loker items. Now, we've tried Loker before, but these look like candy bars, and they're I haven't- very, They're bumpy like candy bars. Yeah, they feel like a candy bar, so we have not tried these. Uh, this one is the Dark Cream. This one is Napolitanaire Cream. Uh, this one's Milk Cream, and this one's Caramel Hazelnut. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the Dark Cream first. <laughs> Dark cream, dark chocolate with cocoa cream filling and wafer. Hmm. So 60% dark chocolate with 60% cocoa solids. No artificial flavors, artificial colors, or preservatives. These were $1.99 each at World Market. Uh, we found a lot of interesting things at World Market. I'm actually um, surprised that cheap at World Market. Yeah, a dollar ninety nine each. Yeah. <laughs> <It's cheap. laughs> um, it says dark chocolate refined with fine uh Flavor cocoa from Ecuador. Um, these are from Italy. It says they were manufactured in Italy. One serving is 300 calories. So. Oh. So like there's six bars there. You want to try to... You can bite it. Because it's, uh, mm. it's got a crust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just get on. <laughs> it's definitely dark. Mm -hmm. I like the wafer. I do too. But it's way dark. It's a little too dark chocolate for me personally, but if you like dark chocolate, I think you'll love it. I like the dark chocolate. Um, it is very, very creamy chocolate. Mm -hmm. Aren't you yeah. impressed with yeah, how creamy smooth, it creamy is? Chocolate. It's very creamy. It is on the darker side. So like it mm -hmm. it just starts to dry your mouth yeah. out. And it's got that bitterness to it. And so it's drying your mouth out a little bit. And then it has that wafer as well, which doesn't help any. So I would suggest having a drink available with, with the that. Dark one at least. Uh -huh. The, the thing about this is since it, the chocolate probably would have been nice to just lay on your tongue and melt, but um, since they put the wafer in there, you can't. You so can't you, do this that. Is a, this is a chewing chocolate, not a melting chocolate. Yes, <laughs> it would have, it, you're right though, because that nice. chocolate is so smooth and creamy. Mm -hmm. I think that's very good quality. Mm -hmm. If you're a dark chocolate lover, you'll enjoy that. Which do you think we should have next? Uh, milk. Milk. Okay, milk cream. Milk chocolate with milk <coughs> cream filling and wafer. This one is also 300 calories. My feeling is always, if you can have the milk for the same calories you can have the dark, then why have the dark? I know people are like- well, Some people just like dark. Like dark but some people though, I really think they only eat dark because they, they've been told it's healthier. Well, it may be less dark. fat or something. Right, but I think, I don't know, if you're gonna just get, I think you should eat what you enjoy. That one has a white for two. I bet these all have white for them. Yeah. Mm. That was not bad. The milk, the chocolate is not very sweet. I love it though. It is. This reminds me, I mean this, that is so, so creamy. It I is, I wish it was a little sweeter, but. It's, um, it's thick and creamy. And it, uh, it, no, I think it's absolutely is delicious. That, is it alpine chocolate? Yeah. It reminds a, me of that kind of flavor and texture. I was going to say, sweet. there's Alpine's another one that we've had before and I couldn't remember the name of it. it's that one. And it's more, it's a, uh, it's very, very rich tasting mm -hmm. and, and. It's a thick chocolate. Luxurious chocolate. Yeah. I like when that. When it's thing. melting on your tongue, it's very thick textured. Mm -hmm. It's just, like I said, I wish it was a touch sweeter, but it's, it's good. Yeah, it isn't the sweetest, but, but I would totally yeah, eat that again and again. Okay, now this one also has a wafer. Uh, this one is the Napolitanaire cream, milk chocolate with hazelnut cream filling and wafer. And it's also 300 calories. It makes you wonder how accurate that can that be? Because you know there has to be a difference. But that label that they put on there is, is an American label. It's stuck on. 
It's a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. So it's like, I bet you. I just printed one label. I bet you, <laughs> yeah, color. under underneath that, I bet you the calories for them are more accurate. Maybe. In other countries, they always put exact calories. Like 92 calories, 48 calories. We round up here, or round out. I got a little bit of the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's a nice chocolate, it's just not very sweet. It's a nice flavor though. And I like the texture of the little hazelnuts. Yeah, you do get the texture of those. They're not intrusive because mm -hmm. they it's not like eating a Nestle Crunch bar where it's just full of little bitty pieces. They're only here and they're sporadic. And they're not big hunks either. Exactly. So you're just getting a little piece here and there. And um, the hazelnut is, it blends in nicely with the milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. So you're still tasting the milk chocolate as well as the hazelnut. Um, I think it's very nice quality. It's good. I'm very impressed with, with all of these, yeah. honestly. If you're looking for a chocolate that's not quite as sweet as traditional chocolate, then these are really nice. They're really oh, good. Different calories. Whoa. Okay, this says caramel hazelnut. So it's a different chocolate. Chocolate with caramel, hazelnuts, and wafer crispies. So this one doesn't say it has a wafer. It just says wafer crispies. Like little pieces. So this one is 270 calories. Ah, and this one does look like a crunch bar. I, it's funny I mentioned a crunch bar because that's, you'll see. So the front of it, see how it's two different colors? I'm assuming that's but, a caramel chocolate. But the back looks like a crunch bar. It's boopy. Okay. I'm snapping it. Yes. Well, all the other ones have actual wafer in them. Mm -hmm. These this don't. one does have. It's more like you're biting into a solid chocolate. Mm -hmm. I never buy a Nestle Crunch Bar because for me, I don't know. I would rather have a creamy chocolate than have the interference of all those little pieces. And this has all those little pieces. Um, the caramel, you taste the caramel, but it's not strong. No, it, it tastes different than these, but, but it's, it's not strong. It's not like, ooh, that's caramel. Wow. Yeah, it's nothing like that. Um, it is slightly sweeter, just a little yes, bit sweeter. I agree. Not a lot, just a little bit. But it, it's it's missing that wafer. Maybe some of that wafer absorbs the sweetness of these. Could be. You never know. Or that caramel just added to it, the caramel chocolate. It's not bad. I do like, I like it. it. I, I like the I texture and everything. I think it's nice. But out of the four, I prefer, I'm going to go with just the regular milk, milk cream. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I probably would too. Although the caramel would probably be my number two. I, I'm going to pick the milk cream first and then I'll pick the hazelnut one yeah. with uh, second. Um, and then third, I'll go with this one. Yeah. And then the dark, just because I'm not a dark chocolate, I would, wouldn't pick the dark chocolate normally, but I do really like it. Mm, it's good um, chocolate. If you go in World Market and see these, just know it's very, very uh, creamy and rich. And I think you're going to be very satisfied with yeah, it. I just, really do. Just know, and like I've said, it's just not as sweet as my, what you might be expecting. It's more of a, of a, not bitter, but a less sweet chocolate. A less sweet chocolate, yeah. yeah. Not like sugar-free yeah. though, because sugar-free or no sugar chocolates. Really, yeah, really no, high. it's no <laughs> comparison to yeah. that. And the, the, the these quality, do have sweetness. It's I just, love the quality. It, it has sweetness. It's just not like to the level we're used to at most of our candy bars. Exactly. So I will have pictures for you at the end, and thanks for watching.